What's Uncommon Fossil Day continue with Magic the Gathering Arena's new player experience. I finished the jumping events that it wanted me to do, and it gave me a quick draft token. You'll see that up here. And then it gave me a new challenge to complete three quick draft matches. And initially, I was thinking I wanted to be do three quick drafts, but I think I only need to do one quick draft to do this. So let me uh, uh, go there, and we'll talk about a quick draft is briefly so quick drafts so i'll just click the tab here to get into it this is the only quick draft available it's a quick draft from lost caverns of ixalan so it's, each one is based around an expansion um, what you're doing is you are building a 40 card deck what happens it's a draft against other bots that's what quick draft is which is really good for new players what happens is you 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 open the pack um you, you, you grab a card from it, then you, you, it happens like against other players, you have, say, eight players, each player opens a pack, they take one card, then they pass it to the person next to them, then they, they take a card, pass it, and pass it, and pass it. Eventually, the pack you started with get, gets back to you, and eventually all the packs get exhausted, and um, you end up with enough cards to um, build a deck from, right? So you're, you're getting a, a bunch of cards semi random but you're, you're trying to get together a viable deck the best deck you can you're also trying to add good quality cards to your collection um i, w I will say within this since part of the goal of the quick draft is uh, oh so all the cards you draft get added to your collection so you're paying by the way i'm going to use my to quick draft token that's what i use here but also you can pay gems uh 750 gems or 5,000 gold to enter and you are good if as a budget player i think this is something you're going to be doing fairly regularly because we need cut because part of the rewards is gems you get a pack two packs if you get seven wins everything else is one pack and then gems that go up the number of wins you get ideally if you go, go winning 50 percent of your time you get three wins three wins three losses you keep playing to get three match losses by the way or seven wins i think once you get seven wins or three losses you're out of the event um and then like three wins you get 300 gems and a pack and uh we'll talk about getting gems is very important as a budget player and this really is the way you're going to have to do that so uh you're, you're drafting against a bot and what it says here or up against an ai the, the ai is going to kind of take cards whatever formula it is uh but the the the, the cards that the ai takes aren't going to go in your opponent's deck so you don't need to worry about the cards in the deck that other players are taking because it's not going to impact what uh what cards you're going up against so that makes you don't have, so it's a little simpler in that that respect this bot draft and also there is no time timer for the picks which is really important as a new player i don't know the cards that well every new set has a number of new mechanics so um hopefully you know you might want to research the mechanics first but also take some time every every whenever you see a pack of cards you kind of want to you want to read through the cards uh, make sure you understand what they do if there's a mechanic you don't understand i would go online read the mechanics so it, it, it's a it's a little time consuming i will say that up front i'm not going to go through the whole picking process there are um tools out there to help you that give you rankings of the cards um and i've utilized that in the past but what i'm going to do now today and I'm, I'm, i would encourage you to do is not use those tools but just read the cards try to put th try to build your own deck um you know coming from pokemon tcg where my experience is obviously deck building is one of the things i enjoy a lot there so i want to do that in magic together i need to get better at that and so first, the best way to get bet better at deck building is to do it. And then the other thing is, I know from the experience of Pokemon that I play the deck better the more I understand it more intuitively. So if I build the deck myself with my own logic, while it might not be quite as good a deck as someone else's build, I'm going to play my that build that I did myself better. My results will probably be better playing. You know, good decision-making generally is more important than... Uh, having an op the optimal 60 cards or 40 cards in this case because it's a 40 card deck so anyway i another thing to you're going to want to do it, it lists a number of uh things about the decks like blue white and tells you kind of what these decks do so just take a look at that before you go so i'm going to pause the pause this video for a minute and uh, just read through to myself what these different uh, deck ideas are, because that will help me build my deck and will help me get a sense of what I'm going against in the game. 
All right, so I've taken a look through this description of these different, whatever, eight decks or, or whatever they are. I'm going to use the draft token that that's what they want me to do, and that's really what I would want to do anyway. So I will click the quick draft token, and it will get started here with the drafting process. I will talk about the beginning of the draft a little bit. Um, so all these cards get added to my collection, which is really nice. I certainly wouldn't want to grab the... Uh, the basic land so and I can see the rarity so the black is common common that's one of the things too there's value drafting as well because I want to build add the best cards to my collection as well as winning here how do you prioritize that you can see the number of commons then I, there will be okay so uncommon uncommon so three uncommons the rest commons and then one a rare and generally I'm gonna want to always take if there's a rare or a mythic card in the pack i'm going to take that just to add to my collection so i i click it and uh, since i know i'm taking this i'm not going to read through everything else i'm just going to grab this one but I, I do want to read what it does so it's flying which i love flying ward which protects me from spells of two and then i can exile another target creature or artifact i control return it to the battlefield under my control at the beginning of the next end step so i can exile a creature and re or return and return it um, and that could be useful if one of my creatures is um, right has gotten through an enchantment can't 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 do anything right so I can kind of get out of that so that that will be nice so it's highlighted it's my pick and I will say confirm pick here so then what happens now this is in my deck or at least the my cards I have to choose from for my deck and I come to the next card and the AI took the mythic so it, it, it may be good to prioritize the uncommons but, you know, honestly, if there's a common that, that will, I, at this point, I think work better for my deck, maybe I'll do that. Um, so I'm going to kind of pause. So I'm going to, at this point, I want to read through each of these cards, carefully think through what it does and, and how I might go. At this point, obviously, I only have one card. And, and getting good creatures probably is the best thing to prioritize. So good creatures, um, a disruption cards are good as well. I, I do like instants just because of the flexibility. Um, and in, if there's cards that attack for like no color, that's that that's a plus. With I mean with uh, yeah, that, that's just uh, any type, any color mana. That those are nice to grab too because it gives me flexibility. Um, so while I have the white and blue creature at this point, I don't want to be tied into it. Where I, I at this point I could go in a different direction, and not play this at all. I need to be open to that as well. So I'm going to kind of pause the recording here because I'm just going going to start to read through all the cards one thing i will say i don't think i said at the beginning it, it's going to take some time doing a quick quick draft the drafting i find isn't that quick probably because there's not a timer I, I think i spend longer than on a regular than on a regular draft with a timer because as, as an unexperienced relatively newish player it takes me more time uh, one one benefit I will say is do multiple quick drafts with the same set. The sets you get to quick to draft from kind of rotate around. So if I if as I get like a third, fourth, fifth quick draft within the same set of cards, I will get better at it too. So I just keep that in mind as well. All right, so I finished the drafting and I did make some vault progress after drafting your final card common uncommon cards that exceed four times the collection the more exceed the four times collection four of collection limit increase your vault progress so i've made some vault progress so say okay to that um like i said i don't know i'm at 1.5 percent, so not very much so now i start to make my deck that the, the game automatically su su suggests lands i think there's a way to turn that on and off i gonna want to make sure that i think it's on so that will stay on. So anyway, I'm white. I don't want uh, anything that's not um, what it, I'm white and blue. So I want to get rid of the non-white and blue cards. So that's great there. So now I got rid of the two green cards. So now the green land is gone. So now, oh wait, I have red as well. So let me get rid of the red. And so now it's just white and blue land. So that's a very good sign. I have 55 cards um, I'll assume the land, what they want, is about correct. So what am I, how am I going to do this? And I, again, it's going to take a little bit of time. I won't do it all in the video. I, I just get the, the deck description. I have 19 creatures. I, that's too many creatures. Um, a bunch of artifacts. 
uh, 17 lands. I had nine in instants. I like instants, but I, I probably need to cut that. So the mana curve 2.3, I, I like that. Um, you can see, I, I probably wish I had a little more four cost cards, but I don't, so that is what it is. Um, need to cut some of these low cost non-creature spells, I imagine for sure. Um, I like having the low cost things be able to cast a number of cards per turn. I do have some things that help me draw through the deck, so things that help me kind of look uh, and kind of draw, kind of get lands in hand, help with consistency. I want those type of cards for sure. Want some creatures for sh I let you know. I want to feel like I can cast some cards early. So now I'm going to start going through the the uh, the deck selection process one by card by card, seeing what I want to keep, what I want to drop. And uh, again, you can see how many copies I have. So I'll just dread, you know when you click on something to get rid of it, it goes up to the top. You can click on it again to bring it back. So I'm just going to work on that while I pause the video. All right, so I have completed building my deck. I've got a 40-card deck here. A bit of a, a funky mana curve in that it's really low cost stuff. Ones and twos really high. No sixes, only one five, two fours. Um, 14 creatures, that's, that's a real solid number there. Um, so we'll see how it goes. It's, it's, it's you know, I, I built this deck myself, so I will kind of get, I'll get the feedback of where my idea is good on it. That's why I like doing it myself rather than trying to get some suggestions. I did keep in the Millennium Calendar. That might be a mistake. I just don't know. It's, it's very funny. I don't know if it's going to be good. I suspect it won't be good, but it's potentially a lot of fun. So I'm keeping it in, and I do want to see what it does. So, the, the, I just, so I'll just click done there. So uh, honestly. It, it, the draft took a while, and then the building took a while. I actually took a, a break in the middle of the deck building. So now I'm going to sit down and play. I need to play at least three games to finish uh, the challenge they want me to do. And you, you need to play three, at least three games to finish it, right? You get three wins, three losses. Pro hopefully I get at least a win. I don't know. My, my deck, my drafting skills are very underdeveloped. My deck building skills in, in Magic the Gathering, very underdeveloped my game sequencing underdeveloped so probably things don't, don't go well honestly if i can get a win here i will be pleased okay, well this is a decent starting hand though so pleased about that um so i'll keep the seven there and i will oh, it doesn't really matter which way i go um i'll probably just cast the Hello. Eh, I don't know. I'm just trying to think if one way or the other is trickier. I, the deck does. I mean, I keep drawing a ton of of islands and not many planes. And I know there's more islands, but um, seems like the what I'm hitting is is skewed very much one way. So drop this, and now um. My opponent concedes, so shocking. I got a W. I was thinking what to do there, and I managed because, I, I don't know, I wasn't, you know, I was just thinking through the, my first turn and my second turn, and I got a win, and that is super awesome, and gets me some rewards here. Uh, that that was just probably for the home screen, but that was my, th so I did finish my third game, so if I were to resign now, I think I would finish the that part of the um New York player experience that new challenge, but look, I, that's awesome. I got a W, um, pretty crazy by that. You, you also, besides you getting one pack, there's a chance of a bonus pack when the odds of that increase as you go up in wins as well. But hey, got got a win, which I wasn't expecting. Um, it wasn't it was a better starting hand than I think I had the other games, but my but obviously I had I was still thinking what I was going to do. I actually hadn't. Uh, I was deciding which creature to play when my opponent conceded. So my opponent just didn't want to keep playing, didn't want to play against me. You know, trying, hopefully nothing personal, but whatever. It was what it was. What do I have here? Um, so I will keep this seven. It's not bad. Okay, so I can cast. I'll cast the white land the planes and I can talk chuck the bat into play and then I have some options there so um so there we go 
little flying, a little lifelink. Lifelink is good, right? It adds life to me. Um, I'll drop down the blue. Um, I think I want to... I can do a little bit more as well. I'm just trying to think whether I want to do the Hunter's Blowgun or not. So, um, whenever I scry one, I, I think I like him. Okay, so, and I will attack. And he now has a one, an extra one-one counter, right? So, uh, so okay, so they're creating map tokens. Not bad there. So I will do this. Um, I could give myself death touch as well, or it gives it, or it gives it reach as, as well, right? Which is actually, which is actually pretty good, right? So if I want to, I could add. If I, if I add, let's think here. They have flying here as well, so. So I'm going to toss this on here. Just I get flying on this creature. Um, you know, I'm going to attack because I assume I can't block this turn, but that's okay. I mean, I can't block next turn, but that that's all right. I do have the block of with my bat potentially. Um, anyway, getting some damage into them, just kind of trying to get things going. Okay, so now they get a 1-1 a one, one counter. They discover 3, discover that. That's good. So um, Okay, they're exiling a bunch of cards. What are they have? Um, and I will just let them hit through. So now we're tied up on life. Are they in the better spot on board? Perhaps, I don't know. I will. Okay, so I have two ways to go. Um, hmm. All right, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put him into play. He's a little bit. Okay, so one goes on top. Um. I. I okay, I'm gonna do that. I will attack all. Get some damage in. Add a. Uh, I want to keep this here because uh, I'm scrying, but I, I already know what that card is, so I want to keep it there, right? So, but uh, that that that's pretty good because I descended, right? I descended, which means I put a a car permanent into the graveyard, which is what I did with Sage of Days. So, so some nice synergy there. So have the lead, but we'll see what happens. Getting some artifacts going for my opponent. Equipping one, so, you know. Ooh, and... Okie dokie, so they got a... Um, whenever th this creature attacks... So I can attack... I could block, though, right? Do I want to block? As it stands right now, we knock each other out. They, they can, okay. I mean, they quick they, the equipment they keep though. That that's the nice thing for them, um, and they're gonna equip it now onto there. Okay, I don't know if that. Let me cast uh, the plane. Just get some more land and play. And I 
want to hold off on this, and I think I just want to attack again. And at this point, it's a fairly even battle, right? Is what I'd say. And I actually can... Um, yeah, so this is good. So I will just, in turn... I, I have the two colors, so I probably... If they attack this turn, I... Right now, as it stands, I can knock them out, right? I do four damage to them. Um, wait, what are they doing? Are they attacking? So I think I wipe them out. Let, let's see what happens. Did they have a counter? So they did that. Okay. Good job by them. They had the counter to my counter. So that's unfortunate there. That's why I was partly, besides the damage of the attack, they were getting something else going, and I did not like that. So that's... Okay, well that's probably the end of the game. I... Um, So I'll get him in play. I need, what, one more? I think, do I want to attack? I'll attack. Okay, they didn't block. They could have. I kind of wanted a creature in the graveyard, but they, they probably know that. They can read my card, and the opponent probably, at this point, knows the game better than I do. Um... So we'll see what happens here. Four, five, six, seven. Um, it's not great. Okay, let's see what happens on my turn. Um, three, four, five, six, right? I actually can do both, right? Can I cast... I don't know... Let's see. I mean, potentially I have game here. They have some counter spells, though, right? That's the thing. Um, so now I give myself plus one, plus one till end of turn, right? Let's see what they have for a counter. Um, and I got the win. So look at that, because I was going to... Wow. So that was that was a, a very evenly matched game. Got a second win with this. Really, really pleased by that. The the what the first win was just my opponent just scooped on the first my first turn, this one was. Wow, I mean that's then that's awesome. So, um, you know, fortunately, my deck building needs my drafting and deck building needs to get better. But because I took the time put together the deck, I think the reason I'm having some the success I'm having like that game was it was a very close game. It was. Um, Uh, I at least know how to play the deck. Let's see. Uh, I'll keep this hand. I will keep this hand. So, um, and see what happens. I, I don't have anything to. Oh, I actually get Millennium Calendar into play. So, and I could get into play turn. That's what I get into play turn one's what, what I want to do. So, um, you know, the one time I got it into play turn one, my opponent wiped it out, which, you know, it is what it is. I, I, I'm not expecting. Lenin Calendar to actually work in a game. If it does, yeah, that's fun. But if not, that is completely okay. So green there. I will toss down blue. Toss down my Millennium Calendar. Um, at this point, I need to get something tapped so I can untap. That That's the next goal here. All right, got to... And I can... Can I do this now? Yes, I'll do this. Just get this Millennium Calendar going. If I get to a thousand life, I win the game. That's a lot. But it is... Look, it is exponential. It's doubling each time. So it's 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 times the power. You know, it, it starts off slowly and gets going. I, I need to get, obviously, some creatures into play. I need to... Um, yeah. 
I I mean I can't just let them smack away either, I don't think, right? So ideally Let's see what my options are. Um I think I need to start getting some creatures going here. Um Just kind of look in the deck a little bit, right? This one, I get to put one card at the top. Explore. Oh, I'll do that. Maybe I should have got some permanents onto the discard pox. I know that has benefits as well. Um, I, I, now the problem is, by that turn, I'm not advancing Millennium Calendar at all. That's unfortunate for me. So that's... That was pretty rough. Okay, so... Um, let's see here. Yeah, I think that's a good play still. I think I need to get some land. <laughs> Man, before all I was seeing was blue land. Now I'm just seeing white land. And there's three white lands at the top of that. I'm glad to get two of those out of play. I do need to get some more land in play, though, so that's why I keep the one. And they have trample here. Um, let's think. Do I want to... I think I need to block here, because otherwise I'm in a ton of trouble here, right? That's what I'd say. Um, wh what's this, by the way? Why, why is that guy lit up? Okay, so my turn. All right. I would tap my land for no, no value, but okay. Need to get some creatures into play here, I think. Cast the land there. Just trying, to, just trying to slow down my opponent right now. Right. Um, again, I don't think I. This is game's looking like a loss. My opponent's creatures are just doing so much more damage than mine. Um, it's pretty. It's pretty much a lost cause here. All right, I gotta block one of these. Right. And I probably just lose next turn. Is what I'm thinking is going to happen here. Um, drop this and play. I will. And I can now activate my ability. And I'm not going to attack, right? At this point, I just need to survive. But I need to survive a lot of turns still, right? That, that's the problem. I need to survive a lot of a turn, turns, turns. So, um, see what happens here. So, I think... Uh, all right, I can survive one more turn, I think, right? I can survive one more turn right i have to block there i have to block one of these guys it doesn't really matter right oh no i need to block the guy without trample so right i survive i survive a turn i'm just gonna lose this turn though um obviously so um All right, I, I'm going to just kind of... Okay. So I could deal four damage to each of their creatures. I'll just do this. I, I just lose the game, right? Doesn't matter, so... 
I'll just give them a good game. And I guess I just concede here, right? Because they just have me. So no reason prolonging it, um, you know. Just so good job, my opponent. I got two wins, though, so very pleased about that. Wasn't expecting two wins. Was hoping to get a win. I wasn't sure that was going to happen. The first two games both went fairly badly for me. Third game didn't go great as well. So got my so three losses, so I'm done. So now I can claim, which I'll get 200 gems in the pack. So the first gems I've gotten in game, that's very nice. So pleased about that. So claiming. So now I have to pay 5,000 gold or 750 gems, uh, which is something I will want to do. I must have unlocked something because now my codex of the multiverse has lit up. But let's go to the home screen and see what I have here. So got a thousand gold for something or other. Finished off one of my daily challenges, which is good. I needed to. So now, oh, so now the game wants me to do five brawl games. So, okay, so that's what's going on here. And I, if I imagine if I go to codex of the multiverse, it probably under highlight is formats and decks, and that's probably going to tell me about Brawl. So I'm not going to look into that now, but so the next thing now it wants me to do five Brawl games. So I still haven't completed the, um, the, um, uh, let, me, let me just come to the fine matches. Oh, so I've unlocked all the formats now, basically. I've unlocked most of the game, maybe all of it. So look, so I have a lot more formats here under events. And I have, I think, all the formats here under regular play. So that's really nice. And I have standard, I have play, and I have rank. So it looks like I've opened up the game through playing the quick draft. I still need to complete spark rank, though. Um, I can still, I can also do standard and historic, but I'll... Um, okay, well, that's really nice there. So um, I've now basically op unlocked the game now that I have finished the one quick draft they wanted me to do. And by a bonus, I got a couple wins, I got some gems there, and making some nice progress with the new player experience.